we've been here many times before, but apparently, the end of the world is nigh. Some people believe our planet is to be blighted by tsunamis, earthquakes and hurricanes, starting from October 15th. They say we are in for a horrific seven-year tribulation, before our Earth is eventually destroyed. Doomsday theorist Dave Mead believes the chaos will be triggered by the mysterious planet X, or Nibiru. Conspiracy suggested it was hurtling towards Earth and would obliterate it on September 23rd but obviously, that didn't happen. Now Mr. Mead expects Nibiru to piss Earth but will bring with it a number of natural disasters, including volcanic eruptions. He says the earthquake in Mexico, the floods in Texas and the hurricanes in the Caribbean and Florida are all related to the Planet X theory. The tribulation will also involve nuclear exchanges between the US, Britain and our enemies, Russia, China, Iran and North Korea. He said it's the beginning. Ever since the great American solar eclipse of August 21st we have been hit by a continued series of judgments. The date of September 23rd relates to a verse in the Bible which apparently matches the August 21st date when Hurricane Harvey battered Texas. And he says there is proof in the Bible. Luke's passage 21-25-26 reads there will be signs in the sun, moon and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Mr. Mead claims an asteroid named Wormwood, which is at least 3 kilometers in recent diameters and attached to the debris field of the Planet X star system will hit Earth at some point during the seven years. He says the seven-year tribulation will also involve nuclear exchanges between the U.S., Britain and our enemies, Russia, China, Iran and North Korea. It will involve cataclysmic climate events related to Planet X or Wormwood, those are the trumpet judgments of Revelation, he warned. Huge solar flares would bring down the electrical grid. Rioting and looting will be unrestrained, society will be in chaos. But you may be pleased to hear that NASA has dismissed this theory as an internet hoax. There might be more to it, though. NASA discovered Planet 9 buried deep into the solar system, which could have amassed 10 times that of Earth, earlier this year. Jim Green, director of NASA's Planetary Science Division, said it's too early to say with certainty there's a so-called Planet X the planet in question, Nibiru, doesn't exist, so there will be no collision, said NASA. The story of Nibiru has been around for years as has the Days of Darkness tale and is periodically recycled into new apocalyptic fables. There is no factual basis for these claims. If Nibiru or Planet X were real and headed for an encounter with the Earth, astronomers would have been tracking it for at least the past decade, and it would be visible by now to the naked eye. Obviously, it does not exist. Luckily, Nick Pope, who headed up the Ministry of Defense's UFO desk, agrees with NASA. He said the bottom line is that if a mysterious 12th planet was really going to hit the Earth on Saturday, we'd all be able to see it right now.